Previously, on Quantum Break. Holy crap. And, so we continue. Oh, fucking, there it is. Hell yeah. Easy peasy, dude. With this rifle. Rifled OP, dude. Even the big dude, no problem. Even the big dude, no problem. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where am I supposed to go? Ooh. With Beth and Dr. Emmer all clear, it's time for me to get gone. For that, I need wheels. I had a feeling it was right here. Valley oh, dude, parking. get the fucking... Beloved by... Car get the fucking Bugatti, dude. Would you dive into a wall, dude? Like, I understand moving out of the way, but diving into a wall? I don't think so, dude. <sighs> the end of Act 3. He fucking did a football tackle to the wall. <laughs> His spine, dude. Let's continue. Come on. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Damn, what's that, dude? Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Start killing everyone, dude. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Uh. Uh. Easy, you're. <laughs> High five, bro. Her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. All right. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. 
I should have been here. Somebody made a false report. Sent me to the tunnels to divert my attention. Like I said, people working against you. Who was that on the radio? We're still working on that. How do you want to proceed? Let's see, dude. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Alright, so what the fuck? I don't understand. I don't know who- is Hatch that guy? <laughs> I want to remember him. Immediately. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. But what about Hatch? Why, why would I want to choose him when I know that he wanted me to... All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those tools. But she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things. They're both bad. Let's do Sophia since she went with them. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. And we didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Yeah, like, he, he's loyal, that guy. Beth Only Wilder. if I wasn't sick. Like, he was... It was the first time I'd heard her name. Trust me, 100%. She had dude. been there in the past. She would have been paying 100%, dude. When it all started... What the fuck is happening? She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Yeah, let's fucking go with Martin Hatch. It's fine. She's hiding something. You know she could have fixed the time machine, dude. Oh, time for more movies. Dude. The treatments. Nobody trusted me. <sighs> Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. Back up slowly. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. Paul's a very dangerous man, and things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The Both stutters, they're, do. they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 Charlie's also a bad guy, huh? Everyone, you just don't trust anybody, dude. <laughs> Come on.
Come on, hide it. I don't want to see that. Time for more movie time, dude. Here, here we go. Smart ass, dude. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of Marduk's essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people. Too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. <laughs> Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God? Isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. The end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation, it can only be done from the inside. Damn, you can't trust somebody that just backstabbed the main dude. Who can you trust him? That's good. I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. We'll go unseen. Need them to go to back to Monarch. Time is of the essence, Charlie. I see. I better get to it. <laughs> you, you didn't know what to do. <laughs> Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward.
frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Fuck. There's a glitch in the Matrix. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I, I can get us on the list. All of This entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. If you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this. But I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. <laughs> he just throat punched his ass. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home. And she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. Oh. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Oh, they're gonna get your pregnant wife now, dude. That was your vice. You just fucked up. Lead the way. And he still has, he's still wearing that fucking brace jacket thingy, so he's, he's still good, dude. what I did. It's funny. Yeah, they can't turn it off. I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment. It's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others. Return to the infinite. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna blow the fucker open, dude. Damn, fuck everybody else, huh? How far along is your wife? Three months. Congratulations. Oh, he still has a jacket, dude. Run away, dude. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get oh, Get on the fucking ground! Oh, hey, fuck. we're on the ground! We're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. One guy. Yeah. Who's she? She's Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Dude. Thing is dead. Gibson. I got burned. Fiona. 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 You gotta listen. Hey. Ah. Oh, shit. You killed him. Fuck. Hey. I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't me. about you, Charlie. Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. <laughs> Huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. <sighs> you know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. You're the coolest, dude.
Invisible, invisible cartridges, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> Commander Davis. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! Jack, he wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. It wasn't her though, right? It was him. Dude, this guy is fucking super strong, dude. It would hurt to move that arm. Liam? Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? <laughs> like how they hired some like thug looking guys. Let's go. Thing to help your husband out, man. <laughs> All right, dude. Want some oxygen, dude? <laughs> Are you playing basketball? <laughs> In basketball. It's like shit. This is what you do, like this. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away from me. Please, please. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. 
And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. And so, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. She wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. And like, if Mom, I could, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. And I'm waiting up to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Uh-oh, you figured out he's the betrayer, dude. I want him apprehended. Immediately. 